Hello, uh, I wanted to make a quick video. You know, I get a lot of people who ask me, uh, not just on the professional side, but on the personal side, and also because I teach um, martial arts, Wing Chun, Kali. Um, you know, I'm always asked by other people about pricing, about freebies, about costs and things of that nature. So let me just first say, I've always been one who tries to accommodate. I mean, I know that I've been fortunate that I learned from my father, who's my Sifu, my mentor, my, my everything. Um, so I've been fortunate in that. But I will tell you this, I would have paid whatever to learn from him <laughs> if I had to. But regardless of that, I, I, I know there are a lot of people who can't necessarily afford uh, classes and, and have a heart and a desire to learn and really want to uh, do, do the martial art and live it. So um, that being said, you know, if you were to put all the years that I've been, I've been doing the art, um, you know, the literal blood, sweat and tears time that has been invested um, in learning and in teaching and in doing, um, you know, the, the numbers are just insurmountable. Um, and that's just true also with, um, with your career. So, you know, if you spent hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, working in an industry for over 20 something years and you've poured in this investment in yourself, so that you can learn and be the best and earn and get paid what you get paid and do what you do well, then you should be, you know, when uh, when it comes down to charging, you should be charging what you're worth. Uh, what happens is if you don't charge what you're worth or you don't charge what, what the value of what you're teaching is worth, then a big zero just gets appended to it. And zero has no value. So... When people are learning or getting something for you from free, for free, they don't know how to value it because they're not taking the 20-something, 30-something, 40-something years of your life that you've invested in yourself and teaching it for free. That's not what they're doing. That's what you're doing. So shame on you. So I've, I've been a huge proponent of giving small, you know, uh, discounts and, you know, foregoing what the real costs are and prices for many, many, many years because money is not my drive. It's not my passion, you know, teaching and doing, um, doing what I do well in, in any arena is, is my passion. So I, I love to help. But there is a fine line between helping and just throwing value away. So my, I guess, if I had just one thing to say to everyone who wants to put a, a, a value on what they do, whatever that is. I don't care if you're a shoe salesman um, or you bag groceries or whatever it is. You want to you wanna put value to it and, and you're the go-to guy and people value what you do because you do it well and because you've been doing it for so many years. Um, you got to put a real number on it or else people will take advantage and you'll lose out. So that's my advice. Um, you could take it or leave it. Um, just letting you know that, you know, the old cliche that time is money. Time really is money. You spent a lot of money uh, going to school and, and educating yourself and working for it and so on and so forth. And, and that's money. Um, it's also time away from family and friends and, and everything else that's good for you. So value yourself and value your time. That's my advice. Um, good luck.